Have you noticed some trees around Central Texas that look like they are covered in cobwebs? Well, it's the handiwork of webworms. All the webs can damage trees. Kexan's Alyssa Gord talked to a bug expert today. She joins us live with a look at some webworms in Austin. I've never heard of these. Alyssa, fill us in. Well, Sydney and Robert, this tree over here at the Shoal Creek Greenbelt, you can see it has a lot of webs in it. That's how you can tell that there are webworms there, is that by that kind of shape of the web with the silken covering over the leaves there. Now, Texas A&M AgriLife Extension say they've been seeing a larger than usual number of webworms here in Central Texas this year. They believe those numbers are caused by a combination of the ideal temperature and moisture level levels. Webworms start off as eggs and then they hatch into caterpillars caterpillars. As caterpillars, they weave silk-like enclosures in plants. Eventually, they turn into moss, but their webs can be damaging to trees. Here's what the expert who we spoke to recommends. So if you want to treat for them, a good treatment is either just opening the web to allow things like lizards or wasps or birds to get in there and eat the caterpillars, or if you want to use a pesticide, then you would still need to poke holes in the web because otherwise that pesticide won't get inside. And within one year, two to four generations of these webworms can live in a single tree. And the AgriLife Extension says that you'll continue seeing them through about the fall of this year. So you'll have to keep an eye out. We have a report on KXAN.com with more information about webworms and how to get rid of them. Check that out. Sydney and Robert, back to you.